So today we will understand how to connect Excel and database. For connecting Excel and database, we need four things. So first thing is this uh, provider. If you see here, this provider is written here. So uh, like how we, you will get this uh, provider? So for, for provider purpose, you have to search this Microsoft Access Database Engine. So this you need to install if you want to connect your Excel as a database. So let uh, this you will download it. Let me go to not connect. Then you need a data source. So in the data source, wherever your Excel file is saved, you need to connect to provide that path. Then the extended property is in this Excel version. And second thing is that if headers are available or not. So in my scenario, headers are available. So I will write yes. If in your case, if they are not available, then you will write no. And let me show you the Excel file that I'm going to show you. In my Excel file, there are two columns, roll number and student name. So data is available here. And apart from this, the seat name is important here. Yeah? So my seat name is student attendance. Okay. So let me go to the my code. In the code, first I will use the database command Excel. So first I have connected it. For connection purpose, you need to select this connection mode as a default. Then you need to paste the, uh, this connection string here. This connection string I will provide you in the description box. And you need to provide a certain session name of, of your uh, in this uh, database property. So this uh, learn with Sarmaji, this is my local session name. You can write here your own. Then I am reading the database from the uh, Excel uh, this Excel sheet that I've shown you, student attendance. And uh, when you connect Excel as DB and you are uh, treating your sheet as a table, so you need to provide two dollars here, right? So this you will write. Then I have looped uh, looped into it, and then I am uh, printing this uh, name and roll number in a message box. Then I'm disconnecting the ticket. So let me show you how will it run and how the data will look like. So this way you, you can connect your database. So these are the details I have shown you to connect Excel database. I will provide you in the description box first the connection string. Second thing is how you will download the Microsoft Access database. The link, both of the link I will provide you. Thank you guys.